days and a lot of folks like to take their four-legged friends along, but there are some dangers. These are pictures of a rescue after a dog fell 100 feet off a trail near Horsetail Falls, and it's happening more often. Corbett fire crews were able to safely rescue this dog, and today Kevin Gormoon with Friends of the Columbia Gorge is joining us to talk a little bit about what we need to think about before we head out with our dogs on the trail. Some trails better than others. Oh, very much so, very much so. And I think one of the things that people need to think about is even though dogs descended from wild animals, mm -hmm. they are much more like our children. So when you are going out on a hike with your children, you focus not so much on what's a great hike for me, but what will they enjoy right. and what will keep them safe. Yeah. And you need to do the same thing with your pets. Okay. We've babied our dogs to this point, yeah. so now we have to treat them like babies <laughs> on the trail. True. Yeah. It's true. Exactly. Let's talk about some of those trails then that are really dog friendly. Yeah, so I want to, there's a couple of places where people take dogs. I want to talk about some that uh, are a little less crowded and um, really some wonderful places to go. I'm assuming these are wider trails. To me, that's the problem with my Golden. Some of the trails in the gorge are really narrow yeah, so and on the side of bluffs. Some of are, are um, narrow, some are wide. And um, the, the thing to remember, though, is uh, these areas are, you don't have as many cliffs. You don't have as big of a climb. Um, and so the first one I want to talk about is Lateral Falls. Now, this is a... Uh, this First is, of all, I never knew how to say it right, so thank I did, you I didn't that. either, thank you. Something already gained <laughs> yes. here. Yes. Remember the French, yeah. Lateral. Okay. And so this is a wonderful hike. It's the first waterfall when you're on the historic highway uh, coming from Portland. Oh, so and it's pretty. about a two and a half mile hike. Oh, look at that. Uh, there's two waterfalls, an upper and lower. Uh, great forest, and there's also a picnic area with uh, lawn and just a chance to really uh, enjoy yourself, whether you're with a family or with a pet. Is that easy? Is there a spot there where my golden can get in the water as well? Yes, there yes. there is. Yeah, that's so a that, big that has deal some too. access. Yeah. There's some some waterfalls where you really don't want to get them sure. in there, but they can tromp around in there. Okay, I'm just going to say it. I see a lot of dogs off leash. Good idea. Is that all right? Um, bad idea. Bad idea. <laughs> bad idea. Okay. Again, let's let's think about uh, our our kids and the the safest thing. The safest thing for a pet is to have uh, these dogs on leash. The, the opening segment where you talk about the dog at Horsetail Falls sure. was likely off, off leash. There were three dog fatalities this spring. Already. And already, wow. and each of those dogs were off leash, and each of them likely went over a cliff where they don't have the same depth perception that mm. you and I do as we're walking on trails. They also uh, have impulses, uh, like when they see a squirrel that we've, uh, over time, learned right. to avoid. Yeah, I'm gonna run yeah. through the sky That's to right. get that squirrel. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, you're right, sometimes it's just, it's just not worth the risk. I know people yeah. wanna let their dogs run free, yeah. but it's just not worth the risk. And there are some off-leash areas in the gorge, and it's, uh, they're easy to find. Um, our, our website has a big search engine with over 100 hikes in the gorge, and you can look at a number of opportunities of where to go and what to do and uh, it's an easy thing to do. Can we touch on some trails that may not be the best yeah. for dogs or just flat out bad? Yeah, I, I would encourage people to stay away from Eagle Creek. It's mm -hmm. a super popular hike. Right. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about a skinny trail and that. a cliff, is that there, it? Yeah. that's it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, most search and rescue uh, in the gorge happens at Eagle Creek. Uh, probably most dog fatalities have happened at Eagle yeah, Creek. For so a reason. So it's super popular, but, mm, yeah. but just don't bring your pet. And besides that, dogs that you want to be aware of can also pick up ticks and something I didn't know. They can get poison oak. They can get poison oak, but fur. the biggest issue is they transfer the poison oak to you Ooh. when you oh, get you home. Oh, you pet them. So, <laughs> that so is a problem, yes. That's part of it. So the, the other place I would encourage people to just stay away with their dogs is, ironically, Dog Mountain. That makes no sense. And, <laughs> that um, makes no sense, Kevin. <laughs> Don't take your dog to Dog Mountain. It wasn't, it wasn't named because it was dog friendly. Okay. So, uh, but the thing to think about mm -hmm. with Dog Mountain, uh, it's a beautiful hike. And, and that's, that's what it looks like right now that's with the flowers. Oh, that's gorgeous. But yep. it is loaded with poison oak and ticks on the lower part. Oh, okay. It's mm -hmm. uh, very exposed on Ugh. the upper part. Look at the ticks. Mm -hmm. And um, I have seen a number of folks with dogs up at the top where the dogs are exhausted, mm -hmm. dehydrated, and they just, they didn't know what they were getting into. And I think the people who hike it 
don't realize if they bring water for themselves, they should for their oh, dog. Of if they bring snacks, they should for their dog. And if they can't climb something, well, why would they think their right. dog is in yeah. super shape and could take it on? Hey, real quick, Cam, I want to mention the upper Multnomah Falls because that's a very popular trail too for yeah. a lot of tourists, especially. Okay for dogs or? It, it, it's yes and no. I mean, it's okay, but you know, I think there's so many people, there's so much activity. I always try to steer away from um, really going to super crowded places yeah. with a lot of activities. Uh, a lot of people want their dog to have a social option. And uh, the Sand River Delta, which many people call the Thousand Acre Park, yeah. which is right next to Troutdale, is that social place. Uh, there's a lot of dogs there, so we really encourage people to have them on leash where they should. You know, uh, if if they leave their mark, please go pick it up. You know, but but there are options. But sometimes the best thing is to go where other people aren't and just you know give your dog the time to enjoy it like you want to enjoy it. Hey, the friends of the Columbia Gorge website, a great resource no to kidding. find the best and the worst, if you will, dog trails. It's gorgefriends.com. More Portland today. Org. Darn org. it. Org. Darn it. Gorgefriends.org. <laughs> Break now. <laughs>